You wrote a lot about visualization. Oh. Talk about how that became part of your process and why you think it's so helpful. I mean, for me, when, when I got to a swim meet, there's nothing that I can control at that point, right? I can, I can control what I do and how I prepare, sort of getting up behind the block and just racing. I can't control what anybody else does. So for me, I want to know how the race could go, how I don't want the race to go, and in a perfect world, how the race should go. Because it all goes back to preparation. So for me, I have to make sure I'm doing all the work leading up to a big meet so that I get behind the block and I don't have to think about anything else. I'm not worried about how I prepared. Um, so I, I started visually, I guess, visual, uh, visualizing at like 13, 14, um, just so everything around me was taken care of when I got to a meet, so I could be completely relaxed. So when I put my headphones on, all I'm thinking about is the music. I get to go up and just do what I practice to do. All of those countless hours of staring at the black line at the bottom of the pool, that was for this moment. I just never really thought when I got behind the block and, and let everything do what was supposed to happen, if I didn't get the results that I, didn't, that I wanted, then I would just go back to the drawing board. And that's really just how I worked my whole life. But I mean, visualizing just, it, it, it just mentally prepares you and, and, and you can kind of check that box off. And I think that's what we wanted to do. Every time we got to a major international competition, we wanted to check off as many boxes as we could. Because if we did that, then what else do we have to worry about? Everything else is just going to happen naturally like it should. I mean, the biggest thing I think that really separated me through my career was my mental game. Everything that was in between my ears. Like, for me, it's just... I, I eventually got to the point where I was competing against myself because I was so hard on myself. And, you know, for me to improve, I had to get stronger mentally and I had to find a way to do it. And, and I think my coach helped me get through that process and learn more. So for me, like when I when I would visualize, I visualize every single, I mean, getting up to a meet, I would visualize probably a month or so in advance just of what could happen, what I want to happen and what I don't want to happen. Because when it happened, I was prepared for it. We start with relaxation techniques putting your mind in a place where you can actually visualize effectively. I know when Michael was young, I gave his mom a book of progressive relaxation. And before he would go to bed at night, she would go in and read this progression of things to do, you know, like clench your fist, do, you know, take Basically, you through yeah, a whole, like you work through you your work whole, through your whole body. body. And actually it got so good. She just opened the book, say two things and he'd be asleep. He got really good at relaxing. So once you can put yourself in a relaxed state, then I tell them it's like watching a movie. So it's essentially what it is. Sometimes it's like you're sitting in the stands watching yourself swim. And sometimes it's like you're in the water swimming. The key to visualization is number one, it has to be very vivid. It has to be rehearsed many, many times. And the reason it works is because the brain cannot distinguish between something that's really vividly visualized and something that's real. So by the time Michael steps up on the block to swim a race in a world championships or Olympic games, he's swum that race hundreds of times in his mind before he gets up there. So then when he gets up, all he has to do is shut everything down and it goes on autopilot. His body automatically knows what to do. The brain just switches into what he's visualized. And that's what's really powerful about visualization. When I would visualize, it would be what you want it to be, what you don't want it to be, what it could be. Yeah. So it's like, you're always ready for anything that comes your way. So it's like, if I would have a suit rip, fine. I need another suit, put it on. You know, like any small thing that could go wrong, I'm ready for it. 